Ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight on Extreme Takeover Thursday, it is going to be Jerry Swirls and a mystery partner going against Chrissy Vane and her new bodyguard, Roxy Rouge. Please help me welcome at this time, Jerry Swirls. How you doing, Greg? How you doing, Greg? How are you? How are you? Doing great. Now, later on tonight, you go up against Chrissy Vane and Roxy Rouge. Now, the question is, who is your mystery partner? Uh, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't think you need to know who my mystery partner is yet. You'll find out tonight. You'll find out tonight here on Extreme Takeover Thursday. But I think ARW management, I hope that my word has gotten out there because, you know, I'm not the only one that needs to pull strings in the bombshells division. But I've made a couple, I made a couple of propositions. The first proposition is as simple. For my tag team partner later tonight, as long as she gets paid, then I'm going to get, well, paid. And the second proposition that I got in mind is once I win the Atomic Bombshells Championship, after I've beaten Roxy Rouge and that crooked nosed woman in Chrissy Vane, I have in my hands right here, this is the future of the Bombshells Division. This is the Golden Girls Division. And I'm going to run through each and every single one of these so-called women in Atomic. And I'm gonna make my name in the Golden Girls Division, very loud and very clear. And after me and my partner went tonight, the only thing Chrissy Vane and Rock Rouge are gonna remember is sucking our ass, plain and simple. We'll find out later on tonight if Jerry Swirls and his mystery partner can overcome Chrissy Vane and Roxy Rouge. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time. She's not just a bombshell. She is the bombshells champion, Chrissy Vane, and her new bodyguard, the beautiful Roxy Rouge. And tonight, you and Roxy face Jerry Swirls and a mystery partner, which he says has something to do with the WWE. What do you think of that? Did he say that? Y yes, he absolutely did. I mean, I have something to do with the WWE, too, so he could have easily been meant talking about me like everyone else here. That could, that could very well be true. So, yes, thank you to ARW Management for accommodating me, your bombshells champion, Chrissy Vane, and having my bodyguard, Roxy Rouge, coming to the ring to team with me tonight. I'm so excited. And now we can take care of that little Jerry Swirls and whoever else he has uh, come out with him. Irrelevant. A, a mystery partner. Speaking of, of partners, mm -hmm. um, you seem to be missing your personal assistant, Destiny. What's going on there? We know that she cut that. I saw that little spectacle. And I'm not thrilled about it. I am the best thing that has ever happened to Destiny. She has far developed since I have come into her um, life in the last few months. The fans care far more about her than they ever did. So Destiny should be thanking me, Greg, not cutting little poor little me promos trying to gather sympathy. Later on tonight, we're gonna see a tag team match for the Atomic Bombshells Championship. Chrissy Vane and Roxy Rouge going against Jerry Swirls and a mystery partner. On February 19th, 2021, for the last time at the Space Coast Convention Center, we wage an all-out war as we begin Chapter 5, celebrating our four-year anniversary. Scheduled to appear with ARW favorites like Wes Briscoe, Shannon Moore, Jason Dugan, Chris Bain, Remy, and more. Plus, we'll see the date in 
of the confounder of wise, Echo Distracto, Trevor and the Awakening, formerly known as the Ascension, and one half of Grand Time KTG. And we'll see the returns of a board order of weird Sid Bodie, Grand and Bat Star, Madman Virgin, and Bat Star, the Undead Ride, Sweetheart. It all goes down February 19th, 2021, for Chapter 5, All Out War. Our four-year anniversary celebration at the Space Coast Convention Center, 301 Tiger Lane in Coco, Florida. The tickets available now at eventbrite.com, keyword Atomic Wrestling. This is the House of Heathens. They are the newest signees to ARW. And of course, as we stated... Teal Piper, Dotty, daughter of Rowdy Roddy Piper, and then the Beast Damos. And you can see they're a power couple. Look at Damos, so swole, so huge. And then, of course, Teal with the beauty and probably the savvy of her father, the late great Roddy Ro Rowdy Piper. Well, you got to think we're into 2021 and kicking off the year, of course. You know, we're only three weeks in. We got to have new signings. We got to have, you know, we got to keep the roster building. Well, of course, of course. And these are two amazing signings. Two amazing with lineage, with power. As I said, this you is know, a power couple. ARW is looking to introduce intergender tag team wrestling into what? our company. And this right here is the start with the House of Heathens. Let's hear what they have to say. Uh oh, let's see what Teal got going on. broken neck. In fact, she was half paralyzed. And I, grew up my knee, had to get major surgery. We both did. It was a long recovery time. But hey, you know what? Good news, though. 2020 was on the horizon. Right? So great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Something about toilet paper? I don't know. There were even the great rumors. toilet paper shortage of 2020. Right. Yeah. But we healed and we trained while all of this was going on. In fact, Deimos, he pulls his Jeep down the road as a warm-up now. And then we thought to ourselves, where do we go? What company has the most buzz? ARW. Oh. So we came here to make Now, I hope you don't mind, but I came here to crash this party. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Finally some entertainment. Wait a second. You can't say that if I recall. At least in 2020, you couldn't say it. I don't know if in 2021 you could say it. It's a new year. Ho, ho, ho. wonderful time of the year, and I have something very wonderful to get off my chest. Tell him, Chico. Oh, boy. What could Chico possibly have to say out here tonight with Teal Piper and Damos, the House of Heathens? Something interesting. The House of Heathens are a team, and I noticed that Chico is alone. This crowd needs to be a lot more respectful of Chico. He's been here since day one. Exactly. Ungrateful bastards. Now, first and foremost, give it up for Teal Piper. Yeah. Now trust me, I know exactly who you are. Uh, this crowd is definitely she not behind you. She is the daughter of WWE Hall of Famer, wrestling legend, actor, and household name, Rowdy Roddy Piper. One of my personal favorites growing up. She has been working very hard, training, putting the time in to make her mark alongside UFC legend, one of the baddest women on the planet, Ronda Rousey. But despite your family's legacy, despite all the work you're putting in, as everybody's favorite wrestler, uh. 
Tell him, Chico. I, I, they like him. He's the greatest. Uncrowned champion. They can't say that. Well, last year they couldn't say it, but this year it's a new year, new Chico. New year, new Chico. He's been at Planet Fitness getting fit. Yes, sir. Extra crunchy. And as a reason this place is packed full, it is my duty to come out here and tell you. Well, I think the belly is the draw. But. That you are new around here, and you have to start from the very bottom like everybody else and work your way to the top. Pay those dues, bud. Oh, boy. Wait, is Chico talking to Teal herself? What I'm trying to say... He is. Teal, you need to get your ass to the back of the line. Oh, oh. my God, Frank. He is not telling that to Teal Piper. Pay your dues. No. I might have to pay the Piper. I have no problem putting you there. Oh, what the oh. hell? Oh, no, Deimos. Oh, no, He Deimos. was going to pay the Piper. Oh no, what's she gonna do? Why is she behind him? Oh, oh! Break to the eyes by Teal Piper. Oh, he's so big the shirt wouldn't come off. Deimos the Beast, the House of Heathens are here. Oh, no, he's so huge. No, double arm. Pedigree! Pedigree by the Beast, that is Deimos, and they are making a statement that the House of Heathens have arrived in ARW. Poor Chico. Poor Chico. Be okay, Chico. So the House of Heathens have arrived in ARW, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, oh, wait a second. What's got to say? Melbourne, Florida. They did. Yes, sir. Well, more than just make statements, we came here to create moments. That's what we do. Yeah. Create moments on this special occasion. So with that being said, I'm going to draw my attention to her.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for the now engaged House of Heathens! Up and a uh, bit of a surprise right now. What the hell are you doing? What are they doing? What are they, what are they doing here? What are they doing? What, are, what is he thinking? What, what is Jerry Swirls thinking? I don't know. What, do we need take two? Do a take two. He's supposed to have an opportunity right now for the ARW Bombshells Championship in tag team form. But what is he doing? Uh, I think they're having an argument. He's supposed to have a mystery partner with him. Is that mystery partner Leo Knox? I think he's saying he has another partner in mind. What the hell's going on here? Who's his partner? Wait, is that the? Is, no, oh. that's not the Baywatch theme. Who the hell's this? It's Santa Claus! It's Pamela! It's Pamela! It's It's Santa Claus and it's Pamela! Santa Claus just gifted Jerry Swirls. Oh, the hug! The hug! Cardboard Pamela returns. I can't believe it that she looks so much mature. I think she's grown up. I thought they broke up a couple years ago. She looks amazing. We haven't seen her in two years. Pamela is back. I can't believe it. I remember the, the fight they had in front of Denny's, the, the, car, the car incident where you caught them. True love does exist. <laughs> I thought Tommy Lee loved Pamela, but it turns out Jerry Swirls loves her even more. Oh, Pamela 2021. It's amazing. Is that his tag team partner? Or That's his tag what does Leo think about this? I mean, what hey, the hell is going on right now? Some people like bumps and humps. Some people like them flat. What can you really do? Oh, Pamela! Pamela just fell! Pamela, Pamela just fell! fell. What'd you do to Pamela? He's beating her up again, Frank. It's okay, oh, oh, Atkins die young. <laughs> Pamela returns, and I don't even know. Is he proposing his love, saying he's going to win know. that Bombshells championship for him? I don't know, but I love the new and improved <laughs> uh, Betty White title. The Golden Girls Championship. All right, let's yeah. talk about this because this is a tag team match for the Atomic Bombshells Championship. So Chrissy doesn't have to be pinned to lose her championship. Her partner, Roxy, could be pinned. I don't believe this is happening. I'm sorry. And introducing the champion.
Oh God! No! Not her! Destiny! Why? She's wearing light green. She's wearing highlighter green, brother. Atomic bombshell champion, the bombshell Chrissy Zane and her tag team partner Roxy. I'm so mad that she has an entourage now. Well, she has an entourage, and let me tell you what right now, because she has an assistant, and she has a bodyguard, and uh, she's making her bodyguard team with her tonight, while her assistant, Destiny, I, she's a little, she, she's asking she's for help. She she's needs docile. help. Look at her. Look at her. She said this is a battle that she cannot win, and she needs help, Frank. We saw the powerful video. All, all you have to do is, is, is hire me, and I, I can get this situation. I still crack this law. What the hell? Chrissy, Chrissy, whatever the hell her name is. Chrissy, Chrissy. Chrissy, Chrissy, whatever. This is bull. I hope Pamela gets a W. I guess she is in this match. Pamela, Pamela. Oh, yeah, Destiny too. Well, the AR ARW Bombshells Championship is on the line in this first ever tag team match of uh, Roxy Rouge and Chrissy Vane against Cardboard Pamela and Jerry Swallows. I can't believe that all just came out of your mouth. I can't believe it. Introducing first the challengers. Hailing from Miami, Florida, he is still the Golden Girls' favorite. Jerry Swirls and his partner from the hit TV series Baywatch, Pamela Anderson. Yeah! Pa Pamela's back. Cardboard Pamela. They broke up two years ago, but they're back together, Frank. You know what? Proving that true love does exist. You, I know. I, I was crying Anderson, a little bit earlier for that one. Our champion. You know what's funny, though? Haley from the catwalk. Hold on one sec. She yeah. is not only an HSN model, she is your reigning and defending Atomic Bombshells champion, the Bombshell, Chrissy Zane, and her partner, Roxy Rouge. Boo. Boo. You know what's funny, though? Jerry Swirl's opponent here tonight. All, all, all three of them, actually, they're all blonde. Well, so technically, they are the Golden Girls, and they all love them. Well, yeah, Jerry Swirl says two time. I gotta, I gotta point it out. Jerry Swirl's <laughs> is a former ARW Bombshells champion. Two time soon to be Bombshells champion. Well, if him or Pamela Anderson pick up the win, then they'll be the new champion. She draws money. Pamela is the draw. Pamela Anderson uh, from her hits series of Baywatch is here tonight. I think she had another one, though, like La Femme Coachella or something like that. Or she's wearing, like, other. Like I thought they broke up two years ago. How'd they get back together? Well, old wounds heal. They had a fight outside of Denny's. I saw it. Well, you remember when we were in the car? Remember that deal? <laughs> <laughs> well, you caught little, them. Yeah, he was getting a little frisky. You, you caught them in the backseat of the car. Yeah. <laughs> I also caught them on the counter. What's Tommy Lee gonna think? Oh no, Tommy Lee and her have been broken up forever. No, they're, they're still true love, but not as much love as Jerry Swirls. Look at the look that Prissy Chrissy is giving Jerry Swirls. She, because Pamela looks hotter than Chrissy Chrissy. That's why. Do you want to get in the ring and tell her that? Hell yeah. You know, you don't, you don't let me in the ring with that. So what happens when he tags in Pamela? Uh, what happens? <laughs> Somebody with the fittest, bro. <laughs> well.
a golden girl, huh? That, that, everyone thought he was going to bring a golden girl. Instead, he brought back his new found love that he has again for Pamela. Hey, man, listen, true love never did he ever get? Did he ever get a splinter there? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. want to know how that works. I mean, they, what they do is they take a scissor and they... Oh, what a chop. There you go, beat her. Oh, miss. Oh, chop to the chest. Oh, Pamela fell. Oh, Pamela just faded. Faded for the abuse. Pamela's just so excited and overcome with joy. And she's up. She's up again and she's falling backwards. Is Leo touching Pamela's butt? Oh, Pamela. It's safe to say that Pamela fell for him just a little bit. Oh, Jerry with the grind. Butt her face. Butt her face. One, two, kick out. Pamela's looking a little tired these days, guys. You know, Pamela's like 65 years old, too. You know how Jerry looks. good for 65. <laughs> I wish I could look like that at 65. Oh, wait. oh Jerry. Jerry and Chrissy. Oh, Chrissy oh. tagged back in. Roxy Rouge. Now, keep in mind here, this is for the ARW Bombshells Championship. And yes. uh, being that, Roxy could actually get paid. Oh, wait a minute. Jerry up. Oh, he can't lift her. She's so big. She's so big. Wait, got her out. Oh, up. my God. Oh, she reverses. Knee to the face right there to Jerry Swirls. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Pamela, no. Pamela. Jerry, you back. 65. Not again, Jerry. That's a 65-year-old no. lady right there. Oh, Destiny. Destiny has Pamela. Destiny has Pamela. No, don't do it, Destiny. She has Grinch. I don't want to know. Destiny, share some, some passion. Right now, though, what are we seeing? Because No, no. You leave her alone. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, my God. She lifted up Pamela Anderson. No, torture rack. Torture rack. And he pulls her. Oh, he throws Pamela to the ground in defense. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh no! She has Jerry up! Oh, oh, but the collapse under Jerry Swirl's big ass. Oh, that big ass! All the energy was sucked out of her. Oh my God, she did it though. Second time's the charm, and no, he gets out. Jerry Swirls has a lot of ass. It's yes. because he tells people to suck his ass. Well, he has such a big ass, that's why he likes flat chicks like Pamela. And oh no! Oh Chrissy, no! Oh, oh Chrissy, no! don't do it! No, you. Oh, Chrissy, stop! Stop the madness, Chrissy, no! What the hell is going on? She doesn't deserve it! No! No, can't fight! Can't fight! And he pushes her off! He pushes her off! He's kissing Pamela in the middle of the ring! Oh, Chrissy, no! Kicks Jerry in the back! As a double team. Pamela looks like she oh. might be a little broken oh. up. Wait a minute, no. What are they going to do? No! Over the top! Over the top! Poor Pamela! Poor Pamela! Is this the end of Pamela? She's 65. She can't take this. No! And Destiny's holding the corpse of Pamela Anderson. We need to get a medic in here really fast. Jerry taking out his love. The, oh, she's broken in half! He, oh, she tagged her in! He tagged her in! Wait, is she tagged? No, hold on. Suplex! No, Jerry is the legal. No, oh, Jerry no. tagged her in! No. I think Pamela's a little broken up right now. I don't think she's all there. Oh, her neck, her back, her ass just like that has been broken. Baywatch is officially canceled, Frank. The reruns aren't happening. So How about the Hoth? Is, is Hasselhoff going to come back? Oh, God! Ass on her back! Suck my ass is what he's One. saying. One! Oh, she kicked out. How flexible she is. Well, welcome to Bizarro World to kick off 2021. We're three weeks in, and this is what we got. <laughs> Anything and everything can happen at ARW. Oh, as right now, Pamela Anderson in, is kind of keeping Roxy in the corner there for Jerry Swirls. And Pamela smiling, smiling as her... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, oh Pam no! Oh, Pamela's choking her out! There we go, Pamela! And Pamela falls backwards. She's so fragile. Pamela was helping isolate Roxy into the corner. That's what a good woman does for her man. 
One, two, and a kick out. We almost had a new Bombshells champion, and I can't believe I said that. Come on. 2021's amazing. Well, now this crowd cheering Jerry, but as you see Pamela, you know, some of the Botox, all over the place. Botox, all that stuff is starting to wear a little thin. She sort of had the Michael Jackson jail face from when he was in court. Pamela looks a lot thinner than I remember, though. It's okay. Comes with old age. Everything sags. She's just falling all over the place. Nonetheless, though, you take the attention back to the ring with Roxy and Jerry. Off the rope. Into the clothesline. Roxy ducks. Jerry, go double down. Destiny, what, what is she thinking? No, Destiny, leave her alone. <laughs> Destiny loves Pamela. Maybe we have a newfound love with that. No, where's she going? She's sitting in the crowd with Pamela? Pamela has no head. Where's the head? How's Jerry going to get head if there's no head? You can't be in a relationship with no head. How do you get a head in life without a And problem? there's the forearm. There's Pamela. Now it looks like Jerry Swirls is alone in this match, unfortunately. And Pamela being held hostage by Destiny. That's sick, sick. I think Destiny there. just needs help. That's her only friend. I still don't understand what's going on, Frank. Into the rope. Oh, he, well, she wants to do the grind on Jerry. This is going to be great. She wants to do it. Ass on to Je Jerry Swirls just got assed on. Oh, wait a second. Chrissy going for the pin one. on the Swirls. Kick out at one. The disrespect. She he's, did looking, the wait, he's looking for Pamela, but he can't tag her. Wait a minute. Picks her up. Oh, she's just too big for him. Oh, my God. He caught her fat. Chrissy, Chrissy is not going to be happy about that. Got her up. Turns around. No. Wait. Put They're holding down. Pamela hostage. Jerry, no. put her down. It's a hostage situation. Jerry, put her down. If you love her, you'll let her go. It's a hostage situation. He did this for Pamela. No, the cutoff. Backbreaker stunner. Oh, the love story is over. And there, wait, there goes Chrissy Prissy going for the pin. Two. Oh. Oh. Wow. And the winner of the match, and still Atomic Bombshells champion, Chrissy V. That was amazing, and uh, I don't know what we just witnessed, but nonetheless, somehow. True Chrissy Vane has retained her championship, and now it looks like she's gained yet another alliance because no. she has Pamela now. No! Let her go, you sick, you sick woman! First, she got Destiny. Now, or then she got Roxy. No, now she's got Pamela. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, congratulations retaining her championship, Chrissy Vane in a well-fought match against Pamela Anderson. I'll tell you what, though. True love prevailed because Jerry put his body on line. Wait a minute, Chrissy. Chrissy's abducted Pamela. That, that That's a part of the new alliance. We have the new Diva Alliance here, Frank. Oh, she's falling all over the place. No! Jerry, go get your love. Jerry, get your love. Leo, let him go. Well, Pamela's been taken hostage. What the hell? First Chrissy got Destiny, then Roxy, and now she's got Pamela.
the rescue of the Sin Rising. From the last house on the left, weighing in it, you're going to need more holy water. Your American Satan, the leader of the madhouse, Krampus has nothing on this guy. The human horror show, Jack Monster! Ladies and gentlemen, this main event that we're about to have here tonight, we've already seen a lot of history with the whole Pamela Anderson, Chrissy Vane, Jerry Swirls. But now in our main event, we're about to have Zach Monstar go for the ARW Rapid Fire Championship. And uh, <laughs> I'm just in absolute shock. What a night it's been. We even saw a proposal tonight. But nonetheless, here we go. We got a hell of a main event. Hell of a main event. Well, the champion who is also the general manager for ARW, might I add. One thing I've learned is you never bet against the Brothers in Arms, or in this case, Jason Dugan. He's overcome the odds and defeated the likes of the Pope Elijah Burke in EC3, but tonight he enters the madhouse. Being to the ring by Chico Adams from Brooklyn, New York. He is not only the leader of Brothers in Arms, and general manager of ARW, he is the current reigning and defending Atomic Rapid Fire Champion, Jason Dugan. Well, Jason Dugan right now being accompanied by Chico Adams. And uh, it's safe to say that Jason Dugan has someone in his corner, but it looks like Zach might have someone in his corner too, because they are the team of Satanic Panic. It is Ryzen and Zach Monstar. Very prestigious rapid fire championship on the line here tonight at the sold out show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a night we've had. Chrissy Vane retained her ARW Bombshells Championship, and uh, now we're about to have the Rapid Fire Championship on the line. We also had a proposal by, by Deimos tonight on the Teal Piper to start the night. Just what a night it's been. Oh, Greg. I, it looks like you need somebody to help you with commentary. My partner here. said he had to use the bathroom and ran off, and I haven't seen him since. I hear he's all ass, but anyway. Oh, he is. I'm match. actually, I feel like a great sense of relief having you here. This is a great main event. Great for the main Atomic event. Rapid Fire Championship. What a 2021 it's been. Man, I'm telling you. Well, nonetheless, though, the ARW Rapid Fire Championship is on the line, and it looks like Chico Adams might be in the corner of Jason Dugan, but Ryzen is also going to be in the corner of Zach Monster. Can Jason Dugan actually overcome the violence that is Zach Monstar? Ryzen trying to get this crowd to rise to the occasion. Jason going to enter the madhouse. And you know what happens once they take off that red mask, Alex. All hell breaks loose. Exactly. I'm kind of scared. And there we go. The bell rings. And then Waiting for that mask to come off. Oh. Well, kicking off the head of Chico is what's going to kick off this match. And Jason Dugan pounding on Zach Monstar. You know, I got to state that this is the first time ever we've seen a one on one match between Zach Monstar and Jason Dugan. And ever. It, and it is a championship match, too, for the Rapid Fire Championship. 
You know, this is 2021. It's, you know, it's we're, a, new we're year. a new year. But last year to end the year, Jason Dugan made his MLW debut, and that was pretty impressive. Going against Alex Hammerstone, just what an impressive resume, you know. Defeated not, the likes of EC3, but tonight he's, he's entering the madhouse. No easy challenge. I was going to say, let's not discount Zach Monstar here. He's a multiple-time hardcore champion. Well, Jason going to do some push-ups. Yeah, calisthenics are important. And the swing and the miss. I remember he actually learned how to hit by EC3. Yes, he did. I, I think he did it inappropriately, though. Zach Monstar with the hard punch to the jaw, the uppercut in the corner. Missed on the clothesline. And a cross body there, just sending Jason out of the ring. Did you oh, miss me, Alex? Us. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> Where have you been, Greg? Where have you been? Oh, wait. You've been I've the been guy in the, in the ring. ring. <laughs> I need you back here, Greg. Jason Dugan trying to wave off, but Zach Monstar in chase. God, this feels good. Well, right now, it's this all hell is about to break event. loose. The mask was off, and uh, Zach Monstar has been let loose. you got to watch it when that mask comes off of Zach Monstar. All bets are off. Well, nonetheless, Zach. Oh! Oh, kick to Jason Dugan. And uh, what is Zach, Zach ripping that armor off of Jason Dugan? That body armor is not going to protect Jason Dugan. Not now it isn't. And a stiff kick to the back. Well, around the world by Zach. The around harder, the world he goes, and where he lands. Louder you scream, the harder I hit him. Jason Dugan knows. And the knee to the mush of Jason Dugan. You know, I said that you never count out brothers in arms, cut out, count out Jason Dugan, but this is a whole new territory. Here. This is a whole new ball game for him. But here's the thing with Jason Dugan, he's he's a mastermind. He's he's like. I call him the Cerebral Assassin of the Indies. That, that's a very good term, actually. I like that. The Cerebral Assassin of the Indies because he always has a plan. and you He know, always does. I, one way or the other, he always gets the win somehow. Into the cover. But, Greg, how is he going to do it tonight against the likes of Zach Monstar, who's a former multi-time hardcore champion? And as sinister as anything gets out, how will, how will Jason overcome this obstacle? Oh, and oh. The punches by... I thought he learned a little bit better from EC3. I thought he did, too. I think he's uh, forming the fist wrong because you're supposed to have the thumb on the inside, but apparently Jason didn't Close learn fist. anything. Into the corner. He met that corner there. Oh, it looks like he might meet the other corner. Uh, the other corner wants to meet him, actually, but... They're best friends now. Uh, Jason, uh, a little off his feet right now. Zach Monstar was looking to pull the trigger, but it turns out that Jason Dugan. Oh, and the chop block to the back of the knee of Zach Monstar. That can do damage. Again, Jason Dugan thinking on his feet. Christmas in January is what we've been calling this, and uh, we're three weeks in here, and we're getting a rapid fire championship main event after we already saw the, the weird tag team. ARW Bombshells Championship. That, and then, that was the weirdest tag team championship. That's the weirdest championship match I've ever seen. I Pamela hear that, Anderson. I hear that Jerry Searles and Pamela Anderson are now on the outs again. Uh, again? But back, back, to, this, together after back two to this years. rapid fire championship match. Let's <laughs> talk about it because, you know. Jason, Jason is actually, here's a fact for you, Alex. Jason is actually the longest reigning Rapid fire champion in atomic history. Is he now? Because the former champion was uh, uh, the, the, uh, some guy we don't remember. Oh wow! It might have been British Wolf. Actually, it might have been since then. I, like I said, it's been so long. I'm old. I'm I'm senile. I don't remember. I heard that Zach Monstar celebrates Krampus. Is there any truth to that? He says Krampus has nothing on him. Oh wow! That's that. You have to celebrate Zach Monstar, not oh. Krampus. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, that's the madhouse. Instead did of a you, gingerbread did, house, you get a madhouse. Did you, did you not hear the, uh, did you not hear the, uh, the, the intro? I did. Compass so has nothing for on Christmas, the then, we, we do madhouse. We get a madhouse. Madhouse of, like, weapons yes. or something, I'm guessing. You get, uh, you get kendo sticks, barbed wire, chairs. Uh, 
Makes and sense. the occasional human body. Jason sliding into the cover. Count of one. Rear naked choke by Jason. Referee checking to make sure that it doesn't become an actual choke. I feel like Zach could take it, but it is not legal in this match. Zach is used to the hardcore element, and here tonight, he's just got to follow the rules for the rapid fire. Uh, with Zach Monstar, that's not possible. If you say rules to him, he laughs at you while he spits blood at you. Oh, yeah, spits blood. That, that, that's a pretty way of putting it. Yes. This is actually Zach Monstar's first attempt at the rapid fire championship as we see uh, Jason Dugan wrenching in on that. Rear naked choke, now bringing him back up. Trying to get to a vertical base is Zach Monstar. And uh, Jason Dugan climbing on for the ride. Zach Monstar back up. And, uh, oh, smashing him into the corner. That can do damage to the back, which looks like it did to, uh, to Jason Dugan. Well, right now, Right now you see Jason Dugan going to just jump on the Zach Monstar, the but that, back there. But that damage to the back, Jason trying to get that hold in. But this is Zach Monstar who smashes him into the corner again, doing more damage to that back. Oh! And a back drop doing more damage to that back. Zach pounding the Mac, trying to get this crowd behind him. And Jason just tries to make it to his feet, fighting off the pain in his back. Zach goes in for the for the boot, but misses. This Jason hangs him on the top rope. Jason Dugan putting up a fight here tonight, showing that he is a fighting champion. I mean, he's held his own against Zach Monstar for sure. He is a former Atomic Tag Team champion. Uh, with brothers in arms, he absolutely and is. A, he was longest reigning longest of that too. Reigning, exactly, longest reigning rapid that. fire, yes. longest reigning tag team champion. He is the belt collector He's, here in the state of Florida. You said that about him. That ultimately he is the belt collector, and he has he has proven that he'll do anything to keep his championship. Absolutely, and uh, right now he's obviously he even, not afraid to go to hell and back. Here's a fact: he even made the Pope say, "I quit, Daddy." I, I remember those words. I mean, I didn't see his mouth move, but he said the words. I didn't see either, and we never had any, uh, you know, replay of it. But, he said uh, the words. Jason on the top rope. Zach ducks. You know, here's the thing about Jason Dugan, too. He, he's got that athleticism in here, too. We don't see it often, but he does have it. Oh, and dropping Jason right on the small of his neck, and that could just daze you. Jason taking damage in this match, but so is Zach trying to recover. Referee going for the uh, 10 count now. Both men have what to happens if What happens if this ends in a double count out? Jason Dugan would retain his Atomic Rapid Fire Championship because you cannot lose the championship on a count out. Both men coming to their feet. Jason Dugan to his first. But Both he will men. strike first. Who's got this? It's anyone's game. Zach ducks Jason's clothesline. Oh, and the wicked elbow, back elbow, and a vicious knee to the face. One for eight. Oh my God, vertical suplex, spiking Jason on the mat. Zach crawling over into the cover, could this be eight? Kick out at two. Well, nonetheless, right now, Zach Monstar is bringing Jason Dugan to his house, his madhouse. Yeah, welcome to the madhouse, You Jason. know, he could become the new rapid fire champion. He knows a thing or two about fire. Well, I don't, don't say that because I, I did see a gasoline, uh, a gas container here. I don't think he has any, any anything against setting and, his uh, opponent my, on fire. My lighter did come up missing. Uh, you might want to find that. Okay, we might have to wait, though. Uh, yeah. Zach gonna attempt at a suplex. Jason, though, gonna. Zach holding on to the ropes. Oh, kicking the leg into the head. Jason sliding into that cover, or more like dropping into the cover. 
Out of position. Kick out at two right there by Zach Monstar kicking out at two. At this point, Jason Dugan wondering what he has to do to put Monstar away. And uh, at this point, Jason, I have no advice for you. I got to point this out. I pointed this out when he faced EC3, but is that his mug shot on his shirt? That really is. Oh, wow. I actually got a look at it earlier when he was telling me what I was supposed to do tonight. You don't want to mess with the Dugan. No. Oh, and the headbutt to the side of Jason's head. Zach misses. Jason with the suplex. Suplex to Zach. Jason surprised he's up. Oh, and Matt Bowman Jr. and taken out. I can't talk tonight. I'm sorry. Hey, cookies. Nice Give me cookies. a cookie. There's cookies on this edition of uh, Extreme Takeover Thursday. And excuse me while I grab one. Well, the ref's out. Yep. Matt holy, Bowman's out. A holy shit uh, chant from this crowd. Sister Abigail by Zach Monstar, but no ref to count the pin. No ref. Zach going into the kit, the pin. One, two, three. Wait. Wait. Who, is Who the hell is that? Who is this? Whoever it is, he's grabbing Zach Monstar. Who the hell is that? Is this a new member of Brothers in Arms? He came to the A to J. Oh, he's telling the fans to move, and he's grabbing a chair. Uh, no, I'm sorry. He's throwing him into the chairs. Well, our ref is out. Meanwhile, this this intruder, this apparent uh, ally of Jason Dugan's, uh, just throwing chairs and, and hitting Zach with everything in sight. Meanwhile, uh, the ref is the ref, out. The ref Jason can't do anything. Out. Anything goes right now because the ref can't do anything. We need to get another ref out here, Alex. If there's any referees listening in the back, we need you out here now. We need we need somebody out here. This associate putting Zach Monstar back into the ring. And now going over to muster up referee Matt Bowman Jr. Jason into the cover. Matt Bowman, groggy, going into the count. And a kick out at two. Zach kicks out at two right there. I told you earlier, Alex, Jason Dugan is the cerebral assassin of the Indies. He always has a plan, and he's looking over here like, why didn't We might work? have just seen a new member of Brothers in Arms debut. I don't, I don't know. I, I would have to say we just did. He always has something up his sleeve, and he always has a plan, and that was that plan, that new guy there. With, we don't know who that is. I, I have no clue. I have no... That must be a new member of Brothers in Arms. I, I know Jason said that Brothers in Arms was coming back bigger, stronger, and better. A new 2021. A new year, new Brothers in Arms. Back, back up. Slap to the side of the head. New year, new Brothers in Arms. That's what new, he said. New, new year, new brothers. Right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. That, that's okay. it. Yeah. What you said. <laughs> what you said, though. Was, yeah. What I said, then you said, that I said, that you said. That, could we be looking at a super... Uh, very high rent district. Jason blocking the attempt, though, punching the side of Zach Monstar. Rapid fire shots on the uh, on the back. No pun intended. Oh my God! What is he attempting here? A super power bomb. High risk for Jason Dugan. Oh, is this a code my red? A code red off the top rope. Still champion. Excuse me, Alex. The winner of the match and still Atomic Rapid Fire Champion, Jason Dugan. Well, Jason Dugan retained the championship, and we have a potential new member of Brothers in Arms. I don't quite know who that is. He's in the ring right now. He's here to help. Jason Dugan. It looks like it's a new year, new brothers in arms. New year, new brothers in arms. But nonetheless, Jason Dugan still remains the longest reigning rapid fire champion in ARW history. And uh, I'm in absolute shock right now. But where there's a will, there's a way. And Jason Dugan found a way.
on February 19, 2021, for the last time at the Space Coast Convention Center, we wage an all-out war as we begin Chapter 5, celebrating our four-year anniversary. Scheduled to appear with ARW favorites like Les Crisco, Shannon Moore, Jason Dugan, Chris and Dane, Remy, and more. Plus, we'll see the debuts of the co-founder of Guar, Techno Destructo, Trevor Aon, The Awakening, formerly known as The Ascension, and one half of current time, KTG. And we'll see the returns of a board order breeder, Sid Bodie, current comeback star, Madman Virgin, and back star, The Undead Ride, Sue It all goes down February 19th, 2021, for Chapter 5. All Out War, our four-year anniversary celebration at the Space Coast Convention Center, 301 Tiger Lane in Cocoa, Florida. The tickets available now at Eventbrite.com, keyword Atomic Wrestling.